Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. So first we want, let's select this layer ground and lock layer. And select this wood too, go to solo. Okay and select pump behind move the anchor point down a little bit okay click station tool and unsolo so in this time let's select these some snow layers for example let's first select this layer 3 press p and go to here make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click here right here plus 10 click ok for go to 10 keyframe and let's move it down like this ok let's go to 8 second press N for select work area and right mouse let's click here ok so let's see Okay, select these three frames, make easy or click F9 and go to graph editor. Let's zoom to graph and select this three frame, first three frame, move right for make falling animation and select work area like this. Let's see. Okay, then back to three frames and select this layer 3, hold shift press R, open rotation and in this time make rotation keyframe go to here and chain rotation 4 or change 8 select keyframes make easy let's see okay so let's zoom to here and go to last keyframe right now go to 3 keyframe 1 2 3 zoom to here and move to up a little bit Go to 3 keyframe again, 1, 2, 3, and select this keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with last 3 keyframes. Let's fix it. Select these last 3 keyframes and right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, and go to current settings, change to linear. Click OK. Let's see. Nice. And let's zoom to here, select this keyframe and move it down a little bit. Let's say again. Okay, let's move it down again. Move to up a little bit. Okay, that's good. And go to here, select this last rotation keyframe. Let's change like this. Let's change again. Nice. So in this time, select these all three frames, Ctrl C, and select this layer, Snow 1, and go to here. Let's Ctrl V for paste three frames. And press P, select these all three frames, and let's move to right, and move to down. Let's see. Okay, so select this layer, press U for see all keyframes and go to last rotation keyframe, select rotation. Let's change minus, minus 10. Let's see now. Okay, so select these keyframes and let's move right. Nice. So in this time, let's select this layer ground and let's unlock and move to behind. Let's move that up. Again. Okay, let's say again. Nice. So in this time, select this again three frames, control C. And let's go to here, select this layer, snow 2. And in this time, let's control V. Press P, select all passing three frames. And move to right. Let's now. Okay, nice. 
so we can add here text let's go to text and click here and write down click tool go to character and let's search here gabo and select gabo font change font size and color change white and move to here let's change font a little bit okay so select this text move to behind snow layers and let's see okay select this snow and go to first passing keyframe and let's move to here or let's change scale a little bit okay let's see nice so let's select this winter background and move to inside for create new composition and create new background right mouse new and solid layer add the name background click ok and move to behind vector layer go to fx presses search effect gradient ramp and select this gradient ramp let's use for this background solid layer and let's change in color blue and start color light blue click ok and we can change swap colors nice let's change blue color like this click ok okay and back to project select this snow composition move to inside winter composition and press s change scale move to here and in this time select this background and let's link to winter layer select this winter press s change scale and move to here let's change again okay and go to fx presets search effect gaussian blur select gaussian blur let's use for this winter background and change blurness okay let's see nice so in this time select the snow and let's link to winter and select winter press s make scale shape frame go to here and change scale like this and go to here hold shift press p make new passing tree frame go to last tree frame and move to down let's see okay that's good let's go to snow composition close this keyframe settings and select this text let's link to wood 2 select wood 2 and in this time press air and make new rotation keyframe go to 10 keyframe change minus 6 let's see go to 3 keyframe 1 2 3 change minus 3 and go to 3 keyframe again 1 2 3 change minus 5 let's see okay select three frames make easy let's say again okay select these last three three frames hold alt move right let's see now okay that's good so go to first second and select these snow layers okay and let's link to wood 2 let's see now okay and in this time select the snow layers go to edit and split layer and let's change split layers color red or change purple and let's unlink go to here select none let's see nice so back to winter and let's see here okay that's good so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck